This is a Sutotal production. Hello surveyors. Uh, so this is going to act as our first practice video for chapter 6. Um, and so for this we've got uh, really two pages of practice that are kind of focused on looking at phase differences, phase changes, while also um, kind of learning how to read these these different diagrams or, or heating curves. So this first one here is looking at a heating curve. Um, and so this focuses on if you look at one in particular compound, this one is specifically for water, but you know other compounds have a very similar look to them. The only real difference is gonna be where like segments like BC here occur on the Y axis. So since this is water and BC here does correspond to melting or freezing, that's why it happens here at zero degrees C. Same thing here with the DE segment here. Uh, it corresponds to 100 degrees C, right? Because that's where boiling or, or vaporization occurs or the opposite of which condensation. And so um, <clears throat> this is one way to look at a compound's specific, uh, say, set of temperature ranges. Um, what needs to be understood here is this is maintaining a constant pressure for this. So um, let's first, let's just kind of go through and just the generic idea of how you want to label any heating curve. Um, at your lowest temperatures, that's when you're going to be seeing solids. And then as it heats up, you'll start getting into liquids. You heat it up even further and you'll get into the gas. And so like right here, this is where I'm going to use just an L, a cursive looking L here, A to B, that's our liquid. Um, and no, sorry, that's S. Sorry, that's S. That's going to be our solid. Um, and then C to D, this is our liquid range. Okay. And then E to F here, that's our gas range. Okay. So S, L, and G is what I'm denoting as those specific phases. And so these flat portions here, B, C, and D, E, this is where they will actually, this is the temperature in which they change phases. Okay. So, um, We'll talk about that as we look at the question. So it says one, according to the heating curve above, melting occurs at what temperature and line segment? Okay, so um, melting means you're gonna go from a solid to a liquid. And so this interface right here, this segment BC, is, is our line segment where melting occurs. Okay, now to know the specific temperature, you just come over here to the Y axis, right? And that does happen at zero degrees C, okay? Next up, it says which line segment corresponds to the gas phase. And I've already labeled them for us, but because everything goes low temperature solid, middle temperature range is liquid, highest temperature ranges are gases. And so our gas phase here is going to be corresponding to segment EF. Okay. Um, then it says according to the heating curve above, vaporization occurs at what line segment and temperature? All right, so vaporization, right? That, that's very similar to boiling. Okay, that's where you... Uh, that's where you go from uh, liquid to gas, right? So it's going to be the interface between L and G here. So that should be segment DE. All right, and so vaporization means you are going from liquid to gas. So, um, so that's why I wrote it in the order of DE. Next up, the temperature range that happens is 100 degrees C. So at 100 degrees C. Now this is for water. So um, because this is at water, that's why it's 100 degrees C. But if we change it to something like, say, ethanol or an ether, those temperatures, those, the overall look of this will be very similar, but where they happen. So here on the y-axis, 100 degrees C and 0 degrees C, those numbers would change. Okay. Um, next up, it says, which line segments corresponds to the liquid phase? I had already labeled that here, right? So there's our liquid from C to D. Uh, next up, it says, according to the heating curve, condensation occurs at what line segment and at what temperature? So think about what condensation means, right? That's where you go from a gas to a liquid. So that means we're going, according to this heating curve, from a gas to the liquid. So if I'm going this way, right, the whole point is I'm going to go that way. So when I give the line segment, I'm not going to put the line segment DE I'm going to use ED, so line segment ED, and of course condensation also happens at 100 degrees C, like vaporization does, so there you go. 
right? It's just one is the reverse direction, right? That's all it is. It's directionality. Next up, it says, which line segment corresponds to the solid phase? All right, I already labeled that up here. That's our AB. So there you go. All right, and this is kind of the uh, meat and potatoes, I would say, the most important aspects of uh, understanding the labeling associated with a heating curve, all right, and the different phases and the processes that occur to get to the different phases, all right? Um, uh, there was, so we, we went over melting, vaporization, and condensation. Now, the opposite of melting is freezing. So if it asks for the freezing temperature, that would still be the same at melting, right? The only difference with freezing is you're going from liquid to solid. So the segment for that wouldn't be BC. It would be the opposite direction. It would be CB. And it would happen at the same temperature, 100 degrees C. It's just you're going in the opposite direction. All right, next up... Um, the other diagram we wanted to look at real quick is a phase diagram. All right. Now, this one is a little different. Instead of looking at temperature and energy, it's looking at temperature and pressure. Okay. Now, the way phase diagrams, they have a, a certain commonality to them as well. All right. So phase diagrams are always going to be... So this is for supercritical fluid, and the one I'm showing you on the page is different. But um, if you recall from the slides here, we have a solid region, right, that's on kind of the top left-hand corner, and then on the bottom is your gas, and then in the middle is your liquid. Okay, now, um, more or less from there, that's really what we're looking at. So let me pull this back up. So when we look at our phase diagram here, it's going to be the same. This is your solid, this is your liquid, and this is your gas area. So all of this area is the set of temperature pressure where we'd have a gas. All of this area is the set of temperature pressures like paired together, right, where, where this substance would look like a liquid. This is for water also. Um, and then um, this area right here is the set of pressure temperature pairings that would give us a solid. So we want to think about what each one of these is saying. So at which line segment does melting occur? So what is melting, right? Remember, melting is when you go from a solid to a liquid. So that would mean we're going that way, right? Solid to a liquid. That's how you melt. So I'm going to put melt right there. So what line segment did I have to cross? BC. All right. Next up it says, what line segment does boiling occur? All right, so what does boiling mean? <clears throat> boiling means you go from a liquid to a gas. So liquid to a gas. So that means we'd have to cross this line, which covers all of this spans from B to D. So that would be our line segment for boiling. Next up it asks for sublimation. All right, what is sublimation? All right, so sublimation is where you go from a solid to a gas. All right, so hang on, let me, I didn't put boil. All right, so sublimation is where you go this direction from solid to a gas. So that whole line segment corresponds to A, B here. Okay, that's where we cross the line, right? That's where we cross the phases from solid to gas. Uh, next, it asked about freezing. Um, so let's think about what is it? what does it mean when we freeze, when we make ice cubes, right, in the deep freeze. Um, so we go from a liquid to a solid. So we're going the opposite direction. So that's freezing. All right, <clears throat> so it's the same line segment. It's still B to C, all right, B to C. All right, and then it asks, what is the line segment where condensation occurs? All right, so condensation, what is that? That's going from a gas to a liquid. So gas going this way to a liquid. It's the same as our boiling line. So uh, let me put cond, so that's condensation for short. All right, so that would still be B and D as well. All right, and then at which line segment does deposition occur? Deposition is where you go from a gas to a solid. So this, oh, sorry, you didn't see what I did. So this right here is our deposition arrow, right, going from a gas to a solid. Um, and so for that, that's A and B, so that's very similar to sublimation. So that would be our A, B segment. Okay, so each one of these segments can be used, right? So melting, BC, freezing, BC. Um, boiling, BD, condensation, BD, right? And it makes sense because those are opposite processes, right? So that's something for you to kind of remember as uh, you look through these examples.
All right, so um, that should cover it for looking at both the phase diagram and the heating curve. Um, until next time, stay weird. Sue Total, out.